Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute and clear up the air on the PVS 69s. Uh, so currently there's like two main PVS 69 out there. We have the PVS 69 Gen 3 and the Gen 4. The Gen 3 is a strictly digital system. Uh, it comes in two configurations with an internal battery and external battery required. This is called the low profile bridge, and sometimes it's called large bridge, sometimes it's called battery bridge. Haven't really nailed anything down. So the Gen 3 uses a display like this. This is a V760 uh, display, and then I have a V780 display, which goes in a different model of the Gen 3. Uh, there's just some size differences in those displays. Um, the Gen 4. The Gen 4 is something new. Uh, right now it's in a beta, like pre-release stage, where if you want it, uh, you can go download the files off my web store. Um, <clears throat> this co project was extremely costly, uh, so I was trying to do a paid beta pre-release uh, where I can get some people's like input on the files and the build process, etc., uh, quality of the build. But not have like a bunch of people just blow me up with oh this is messed up this is messed up because there was some hiccups i forgot something in the file forgot to include like where to buy the switch or what switch to buy things like that so uh that pre-release is nice but the files will be free uh february fuck what is it like 28th or whatever the last day of february these are going to be released so uh if you want to get these ahead of time you can go to my web store and start ordering parts and printing them out and whatnot. But Gen 4 itself, the Gen 4 housing is a digital slash analog housing. This set right here is in the analog configuration with PVS 14 objective lenses and PVS 14 eyepieces. This housing right here is also in the analog configuration PVS 14, PVS 14. This one right here is in the digital configuration. This one has a uh, digital objective lens and a PVS-14 eyepiece. Uh, there will be a file for a uh, adapter that lets you retain the eyepieces from your V760 displays. Uh, I don't have one of those lenses on hand. So here's the V780. And the V780 and the V760 have the same thread size uh, for these uh, optics. So you will be able to retain this lens from your uh, display module if you ch so choose to. V780 and the PVS14 lens are pretty dang similar. Uh, the V760 lens is definitely a downgrade from the 14, but it's just up to your budget on if you can afford that. <coughs> so. You must be wondering how this digital system works. Uh, the Gen 3 was pretty simple. You have a camera up here, and then some open space, and then your display module back here, and everything's wired up. Wires pass through the hinge to the switch and power port, etc. The digital is much different than that. The digital has the MX69 DEET, Digital Image Intensifier 2. The MX69 uses the Runcam Knight Eagle 3 uh, board up front and the display module out of the V760 or V780s. Uh, this is just a super rough prototype I did with a kind of a whack uh, display that I had. This one was like something was shorted and it wasn't working right. Uh, it's actually completely dead now because I was fucking around with it and I broke it. But uh, yeah, so uh, for the digital configuration, you can use the PVS-14 eyepiece. Uh, so this, a standard mil-spec eyepiece is not going to fit. You need to print this adapter and it adapts it for the larger printable thread size that's on the housing. But the rest of the parts fit. Um, but for the digital, you'll need the digital objective lens. Uh, this one right here is discontinued, uh, but I have it and it's the one that works the best. So, well, not the best, but it works. I, I like the way it works. This one right here is what we're switching to. 
This is a 8mm focal length f1.0 CS mount lens for a one third sensor size. So, you know, it's just the right lens for this sensor size essentially. And what you do is you drop your tube in there, you drop this lens in there, and you get your retainer on there. The issue is this new 8mm lens doesn't have a shoulder, so there's going to be a printed adapter that goes on the back of this right here and screws in right there, and that gives it a shoulder for this. Uh, this piece to grab onto and pull the lens into the housing. So uh, I will have available at some point, these are going to be the MX69 tubes. Uh, this is aluminum. Uh, it's 3D printed aluminum, but they, the manufacturer messed up the files. Uh, they like modified them to make it easier to print for them, I guess, but it made it a bitch for me because now I got to cut this thing in half. <laughs> but this is the uh, MX69 digital intensifier tube, uh, aluminum version. Uh, basically how it works, it works the same as an intensifier tube. You have your two contacts in the tube, and then you just, I'll drop this one in there, but you basically just take those and you line them up, and there's a indicator pin right here. You get them in there, and then you just, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, that one's not going to work. I don't know what's up with that. But you just take your tube, put it in, and then it kind of goes into the spot it's supposed to be in, and uh, there you go. So that might not have been actually correct. It needs to be over a bit more. The best way to do it is to actually look at the positive pin and line the positive up with the positive. The positive is going to be on the the right side. So if you line those two up and you get that in there, uh, you're good to go. This is an earlier prototype of the PCBs, so those contacts are a little harder to work with. But the new PCBs and contacts are much smaller and they just they work a lot better. <coughs> so like this tube will drop right in here. Just like that. Um, the MX69 consists of a, it also has a boost converter, I forgot to mention that. So there's a boost converter in there to power the, uh, the camera, because the camera runs off a higher voltage. Uh, the total voltage draw of this thing is not a whole lot more than just what it was with the buck converter and everything. So this draws like 0.71 amps per tube. And this draws like 0.76 so barely more voltage draw and uh, just a better compact design uh, this requires like three wires to pass through here this only requires the two um, I hope that this video uh, might have cleared some things up to you maybe inspired you to want to build one of these uh, these analog sets are going to be stupid cheap once they're uh, uh, good and ready to go in the parts kits and stuff like that. So the parts kits that I'm going to sell are going to really cut down the cost of this because uh, to buy the PCBs, you have to buy them in like packs of three or whatever. And uh, it's like 20 bucks for all the PCBs uh, to buy the lenses. These lenses are pretty expensive. The objective lenses are pretty expensive. Uh, if you go digital, these are really cheap. Uh, this is only like six bucks plus shipping but shipping's like stupid it's like forty dollars so i'm gonna try and stock these u.s stock uh if i don't stock them uh, there's another lens guy he's gonna be stocking those um yeah so i hope i inspired you to maybe want to build your own set of night vision these do work there are there are tubes in them they run i got 70 hours on this set right here so uh, i've been using this one quite a bit you just click the button on the front and then power's on. There's your tube. Boom. And, uh, yeah. So, if this is something you want to build, you can definitely go check out the, uh, read the, the description on my web store for these. It's got all the details on them on how to build them. Not how to build them. All the parts you need to build them. The build video's coming out. Build instructions are coming out. Uh, I just haven't had time to get to that yet. Uh, if you're interested in a set of these but you don't really have a whole lot of money to spend, this set right here is going up 
uh, for a giveaway, uh, like raffle, I guess. So you can get tickets to enter this on my web store. Uh, this is a complete set, 69 Gen 3, low profile bridge. This is going to come with a Wilcox G01 mount, not a clone, a real mount. Um, yeah, it's going to come like this. It's going to have a battery set up, everything to run it. So you can just strap that onto any old helmet and then you're good to go. Uh, yeah, I don't have really anything else to say. Uh, I will say that these Gen 4s are going to be cheaper to build than the Gen 3s. So definitely uh, Gen 4 is the way forward here. Um, yeah, parts kits are going to be on the website soon. And uh, hope to have these build videos out probably mid next month. Um, the competition for this is actually ending this week. Uh, it's like a couple days or whatever. Uh, and then I'm going to be announcing the winner that first week of February. So stay tuned for that. Just watch the uh, Instagram socials. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, you'll be the one to win these.